Guys, let's go into today's sewing tutorial. Don't mind me. I will dance the whole day out. <laughs> to make this, I'll be using this African fabric. Actually, this fabric was given to me by my mother-in-law. I didn't even know it would end with making sewing tutorials. Anyway, guys, this is the fabric I'm going to be using. African fabric. You can actually use a showcase to make this. You can use um you can use brocade, you can use the max material. You can use any material that can, you know, whole structure will be nice for this. So, but for today, I'm using African fabric to do this. And you will be needing four yards of African fabrics. Two and a half yards for the main body and one and a half yards for the sleeve. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut out four and a half yards out of these six yards. So, here I have two and a half yards folded into four. Can you see? It's folded into four. Yeah, don't bother about this. I have a video on how to remove label from African fabric. I'm going to be dropping that in the description section. So when I'm done making this tutorial, I'll go ahead and remove that. It's very easy. If you haven't learned how to do that or you don't know how to remove that, I'll drop that video so that you'll be able to learn how to do that. So the next thing I'm going to be making now, this is a circle dress. So I'm going to be picking one end, the part, the one that is on fold. Can you guys see? This one is not on fold. This is the one that is on fold. So you're going to pick that side that is on fold and bring it towards this way to make a triangle. Can you see what I did? You bring it this way to make a triangle. I have done a lot of circle dresses so you should be able to know how I do this. So this is it like this. So next thing is to get a line here. You square out a line here where you're going to be starting from. So I've gone ahead and squared out a line. Let me make sure this is showing properly. So I've squared out this line. This line, remember this side that is, see the side that is on fold and the one that is not on fold. This is going to be the side seam. This is going to be the center front and the center back. So now what I measured here is the length of my shoulder so the length of my shoulder is eight 16 inches divided by two would give me eight inches will give me eight inches so i added half inch so in allowance to that and that is how i got this line I squared out so use exactly what your shoulder is and square out so if your shoulder is seven and a half inches it means this would come up like this it means your own should come up like this so you understand so if your shoulder is longer it means it has to come this way so find where your shoulder is and that would be where the end of this thing will be. Next thing you have to do now, if you have been watching my videos on how I make circle dress these days, I have a tiny secret on how I make the dresses longer. So what I do is to come up here by one and a half inches. So I come here up by one and a half inches. This is my secret to circle dresses. So if you, you're lucky you're learning one of my secrets okay so what we do now is this place you know the shoulder slopes when you're making your dresses you have a shoulder sloping so the distance between your slope is what i have here some people make their slope to be one inch so you can decide to come up by one inch but most times it depends on what i'm making i use one and a half inches one and a half inches for my shoulder sloping and that's what i have come up here with i hope this is one and a half yes one and a half inches so the next thing I will do now is to get the width of the neckline. What we have to do first is to get the standard neck width. Later, I will increase that neckline. It's just for me to get the sloping. So the neck width I'm using is 2.75. I will mark it here. And then I'm going to connect this line to this line. Remember this, I use my shoulder line. So I'm just going to connect this to this. So now with this, I have the shape I want for my shoulder. Now I'm now going to go in with the normal neckline that I want. 
So I will come in here four inches. Can you guys see the difference between the two? Yes, we're still using this place. We'll still use this place. So let me just mark it for you to see. This is where our shoulder started. This is the new neckline. So the next thing I will do is to come down for the neck depth. The back neck depth I'm using is one inch. I'm going to connect this to this. Guys, I've already finished cutting this when I found out that I wasn't recording. Can you guys see? I've already cut out the neckline and cut out the length of the dress before I found out that this wasn't recording. So guys, I'll just use this to show you what I did here. <laughs> That's the struggle. So this is my paper is presenting this V, this circle that I've made like this. This is it like this. And the first line I drew was the shoulder line. I drew it. The measurement from here to here is the measurement of my shoulder line like this. And I came up one and a half inches this way. And then I now went ahead to get the normal uh, neck width, which is 0 0.75. I marked it here. And then I connected this to the shoulder line this way. That was what I did. And guys, you can go ahead and add sewing allowance to the shoulder line so you don't forget, like I forgot the last time. So I hope you can see what I did here. So now, I want to now get the actual show neck width. Remember, this is from here. So the neck width I wanted to get is from here to here, 4 inches. So I marked 4 inches here for the neck width. And then the neck depth for the back is 1 inch. I marked it here and I connected this to this. And then for the neck depth for the front, I came down by four and a half inches, which is here. And I connected this to this. Can you guys see? Remember, this is still here. And this is where we started from. But I increased this because I don't want the neckline to be too tight for the clients. And I don't want to open anywhere. So now this line is still needed. So the next thing I did was to come down all my lengthwise measurements. I'm going to be taking them from this place. Can you guys see? So the next thing I did was to come down the armhole length which is nine inches i dropped it somewhere here like this and i made I squared the line out so this line i squared it out like this and then from here to here i got the shoulder width which is eight and a half inches and connected these two lines like this and on this line i got the the um round bust measurement which is 12 inches i marked it here and then i came in here by half inch then connected this um, armhole curve like this. That was what I did. And then the next thing I did was to get the length of the dress. So from here, I came down, the length of the dress I came down was 38 inches. So from here, I took the length of the dress that way. Can you guys see? Then now I now made the shape of the uh, side seam, which is like this. That was basically what I did. I'm so sorry that went off camera. That's the struggle. <laughs> so I went ahead and cut it from here. Remember, so let me just cut this from here. Using that allowance off there. And I did this. That's the struggle we go through on YouTube. <laughs> it's not easy. Oh, I've got this one too much. So yeah, this is what I cut out there. Can you guys see? Oh, this is too sharp. That's not how my own is. Because I didn't use measurements. So this is how it will look, guys. So now I'm going to go over to cut the sleeve. For the sleeve, I told you guys earlier on, I'm going to be using one and a half yards of African fabric to do that. So let me cut that out and we'll continue. Now this is one and a half yards and i have folded it into two like this i'm going to fold it again into four and make sure i get at least the width which should be at least 20 inches at least 20 inches let me see I have 16 here because the longer the wider if this was to be here somewhere here you will make it the width would be 15 inches but because it's a long one i really want the bell sleeve to open up very well so i will make this okay let me just make this 18 inches 
let me make it 18 inches so it's not too wide i really wanted it to you know <laughs> be that wide but it's okay 18 inches is okay yeah so but if i draw it out and see that i don't like the shape i can increase that let me just make the sleeve first hope you can see where my sleeve is okay so now this would be the center of the sleeve we are going to be starting measurements from here i'll come down here five inches so the next thing i would do is round my arm measurement divided by two i'm going to be adding half inch easing allowance to that so round my sleeve is 16 inches divided by two is eight inches i add half inch easing allowance to that which will be eight and a half inches and then i'm going to be adding half inch sewing allowance so in total i'll have nine inches i'll drop that here and then i'm going to make a diagonal line here like this at the center of this which is here i'm going to come up this way connect it here and go down that way Yeah, so I have the sleeve head ready. So the next thing I would do is to make the shape for the bell sleeve. Yeah, I think I like, let me see how wide it looks. You just go ahead, use your free hand. Um, the bell is bell enough, but I still want some, I still want some room. So I'm going to make this again i'm going to do this again so i will have to come in here nine inches divide this guys you know, you know the drill let me just do it without talking and come <laughs> You don't need to compromise when you want to make an exaggerated sleeve. Yeah, so guys, you are not going to cut out anything from the hemline. You will not cut out anything from the hemline. That is what would give it the A line that you want. Next, to join this, I'll go ahead and join the shoulder. I'll join the shoulder and then I go ahead to join the sleeve. But let me join the shoulder and come back to you. As you can see, I have gone ahead and joined the shoulder and I've also hemmed the neckline. So the next thing I would do, now I made a mistake. I watched my video and found out I used 9 inches for my the length of my armhole. Go ahead and use 10 inches if you're my same me measurements. If you're smaller that you can use 9 inches, that's okay. From size 14 and above, you can use 10 inches. That way it will sit properly. But I'm going to manage my own like that since it's a circle dress. Next thing I will do is to go to my machine and join the sleeve. So I'll just go ahead, place the sleeve here and join it around. So let me do that and come to you. So here is it after joining it. The next thing I will do is to go to my machine and close the side seam after closing the side seam you then go ahead and hem the lower part with this we have come to the end of today's sewing tutorial if you haven't subscribed or you haven't liked this video go ahead and like it and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you on my next video bye bye ya.